The Hill has an article about a state politician in Vermont, and we might be seeing the beginning of a new trend here. A state senator in Vermont introduced legislation that would make it illegal for anyone under the age of 21 to use or possess a cell phone. The bill, sponsored by State Senator John Rogers, says cell phones have been linked to loss of life among teenagers, from distracted driving to cyberbullying that results in suicides. The Bear, Bar, Bear, Montpellier, Pellier, <laughs> I can't talk today, Times, uh, Argus reported. What an interesting name. Wednesday. The bill text says, The internet and social media, accessed primarily through cell phones, are used to radicalize and recruit terrorists, fascists, and other extremists. Cell phones have often been used by mass shooters of younger ages for research on previous shootings. Violation would result in a misdemeanor that is punishable by maximum of a year behind bars and a $1,000 fine. Rogers, however, said he doesn't expect the measure to become law, adding that he introduced the bill to make a point. <laughs> what a waste. What are you doing that for, man? Come on. You're wasting everybody's time and whatnot. But um, I'm not so sure that this is not going to get legs under it. And that's one of the reasons I'm covering it is because everything starts out as like, oh, I'm just saying here, like, yeah, it's just an idea. And then sometimes it becomes law. Like, um, for a long time, we had fruity vape flavors that were uh, legal, and then just the other day, Trump banned them. Uh, we covered uh, his round table on that, where he had people from the industry and experts, and he was talking to all of them, and um, he agreed with them that, yeah, let's just ban all the fruity flavors, because, oh my god, what about the children? Yeah, but what if the ad an adult wants to have it? What if an adult who works a nine to five and is a productive person and takes care of their family, what if they like mango flavor jewel or, you know, whatever, fill in the blank cotton candy, whatever the hell you like? What about that? Can they have it? No, according to Trump. But that started out as just an idea and people never knew. No, I mean, they, come on, the industry of flavored vapes is pretty big already. So, what, we're going to fight back against that? Well, in the end, the government did and the government won. So, and now we're getting this movement on with cell phones. Age 21 and up for cell phones. Now, am I here arguing that there are no negative consequences of younger people having cell phones? No, that's not what I'm arguing. I'm 31 years old, and I think that there's, you know, there are negative consequences of me using a cell phone. So, of course, I think it's the case for younger people as well. However, this is not the government's business to get involved in this and to try to stop people under the age of 21. That's an old age to get a cell phone. I mean, you would have a much more reasonable conversation if you said, eh, 16 or something like that. No, he went to 21. And he says, oh, sometimes it's used to recruit terrorists and fascists and mass shooters. Yeah, in like 0.01% of cases. 0.001% of cases. 99% of the time, you know what it's used for? Hey, let's go meet at the pizzeria and have some food. <laughs> like, that's what it's used for. You want something to eat? Oh, you want to hang out? Netflix and chill? Like, this is what it's used for. Or, hey, I'm in conversation with my friend and he said something I'm not sure it's true. Let me look it up. That's what it's used for. Oh, let me go on social media and see what my friends are up to. That's what it's used for. Now, again, you could argue there's some negative consequences along with that, too. Oh, you go on social media, some people feel ostracized, some people feel like the world's against them. You know, there might be impacts on that for psychological health, in some extreme cases, suicide. That's all true, but uh, this is an instance where I'm pulling the hell no card, and I'm telling the government to get out, because let the families make their own decisions. Let the, If the parents want the kid to have a phone when the kid is 10 years old, because, you know, at soccer practice, you never know what time it ends and you got to go pick the kid up. And sometimes it's 30 minutes early, sometimes it's 30 minutes late. And so you go to pick the kid up when they call you on the phone or text you and say, hey, mom and dad, come pick me up. The government's going to step in. And, no, I don't like that. You, you, I can't let the kid use that because there's somebody who might become a terrorist if they have cell phones under the age of 21. Stop trying to make the world like a giant padded room where you can run into walls and nothing bad ever happens. There is something to be said about freedom. Now, I've called myself a libertarian leftist before on this show. Libertarian means on social issues. And by libertarian, I, I mean the classic definition of live and let live. You do whatever the hell you want as long as you're not hurting anybody else. On social issues, that's my belief. That, those are, that's where I fall with my policies. You should be able to 
If you want to do drugs, you should be able to do drugs. Uh, if you want to smoke flavored vape, you should be able to do that. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, you should be able to do whatever you want on social issues. And there's another one of those things here where it's like the government is just getting too involved in people's lives. You're never going to put that genie back in the bottle, dog. I'm sorry. When it comes to cell phones, you're going to put the genie back in the bottle. I mean, maybe you would have had a better case if you proposed this bill in 1995 when they were using the big Zach Morris cell phones. Remember that on Saved by the Bell? You got the big cell phones. It's like the size of a brick. And it's like, sup, guys? Like, maybe back then if you said, uh, not until you're 21, peep, you know, it would have been less unreasonable. But today, in the age of smartphones, we're, it's such an interconnected world. I'm sure there are people who need their phones for work where they're legally old enough to be able to work and they need a cell phone to be able to work. And you're going to say 21. I mean, it's just, it's so pie in the sky. And I think the point that this guy was making, he actually ended up making the opposite point even better. If he wanted to make the argument that, hey, cell phones have a really deleterious effect on, on the public, there's a decent argument to be made there. But his bill is so ridiculous and his examples are so absurd that he's invoking the counter arguments and the counter arguments are a lot stronger. So, you know, Mission failed. Um, let's get rid of these silly ideas. Let's be more realistic about the future. And also, let me just say this. We live in a country where automation is replacing how many jobs? How many people are losing their livelihoods, losing their jobs as a result of automation? And instead of saying, wow, let's regulate the kind of automation that are getting people's livelihoods taken away, the response from this politician is, I don't think kids should have cell phones until they're 21 or over. Piss off, man. You're ridiculous.